What's going on everybody? This is Lauren with TMF Apparel USA and what I'm showing you today is a little disassembly of an Epson 3880. Um, this is what is inside of my Air Ren T800 which is behind this printer right here. Uh, I have purchased this printer off of eBay. It cost me around $350 and the part that I am specifically after in this was the printhead carriage. Um, I was having a PW Air Sensor 1601, which I am going to post another video about on my channel. So look for that if you run into that error. But I'm showing you the disassembly process of this. Um, right now I'm pulling off the back, going to pull out the main board and power board. All of these parts sell individually for some of them hundreds of dollars. What I find is I scour Facebook, Craigslist, eBay for a decent unit that powers on maybe it hasn't been used in a while a lot of times they're collecting dust buy these units disassemble them for spare parts so that i can repair my dtg machine which runs off of the 3880 you can do this with any of the machines this board right here and power supply that's 200 bucks in itself on ebay a lot of times so i have two extras of those now i'm going to pull the top part of this printer off here to gain access to the print head and carriage assembly which is what I'm after. Keep in mind, a print head for an Epson 3880 is $850 to buy a new one. Most of the time, you can pull the print head out, soak it, run a nice warm cleaner through it. I like warm cleaner myself. If you're gentle, do a reverse head flush, uh, a regular waterfall on it, and just get and break down all of the ink inside of that thing, get it flushed out, and you've got a perfectly usable print head which is what I'm going to do with this one. I also take the dampeners out. I run nice warm water through the dampeners and the lines and put them to the side so that they're clean. Uh, and I have spare dampeners, spare ink lines, print head, main control panel. I've had to replace that due to a, um, a cable issue, having main cables that run to the back from the, the print head to the back. All of these parts are super helpful in repairing your printer over the course of its life and you'll have them on deck you can find used printers online all the time and a lot of times i'll just make them a nice little offer you know they're not doing anything with it get it shipped right to me we're ready to party so right here i'm taking out the dampener setup for the 3880 along with the ink lines those kind of come out in one piece and i'll disconnect them from the um the main ink carriage cartridge holder area there and drain those out when I'm done. So that's what I'm after here. All of these little boards and sensors, these are things that you could damage. They could go bad. So it's good to have extras of those. I'm also gonna have extra encoder strip. I mean, you have an extra spare of everything. So super helpful. If you are concerned about uh, putting it back together, don't be, I'm not putting this 3880 back together. If I was, I'd probably be a little more gentle than some of the disassembly of the outside plastic pieces. If you're running a DTF unit, this is still an excellent option if you were converting one, um, you know, if you just need spare parts. So keep that in mind as well. I do have an R2400 coming for my free jet that I'm going to take apart when it gets here so I can show you guys uh, the process of that as well. Um, right here, we're pulling off the right-hand side. This whole piece kind of comes off, allows me to slide out the, uh, the pump and cap station, which is awesome to have a backup of. I also need this thing out of the way so I can grab the uh, print head carriage off of the main gantry back there. So once we get that off, we will be in business. And like I said, I am going to go over another video here of the actual error and how to solve the uh, 1601 error that I was getting, which was super frustrating. And long story short, I didn't have to take this printer apart at all to fix that error. So... I'm going to show you guys a little video about that here on the channel as well. But if you have issues and uh, you need to fix your printer, you're looking for parts, this is the best, most cost-efficient option there is. Scour the web, find you a used one, pick that bad boy up, take it apart, fix your shit. So last week I had this printer here have kind of a pretty serious malfunction on me where the line going into the dampeners sprung a leak and it filled the entire carriage assembly with ink gave me an error code 1601 
which uh, corresponded to this guy right here, PW sensor. It's one on the bottom. And from what it said in the manual is that that uh, told, it, I guess, the paper width. So trying to find this is uh, pretty impossible. So what I did is I bought a printer and I took it all apart. Now, if you have a, a DTG unit like a FreeJet or like this Haiwan right here, I'm running some head cleans, let me set this up, and you end up running into an issue with a print head or, you know, it burned up my cable or the dampeners or the ink lines, those pieces on their own are pretty expensive. So what I like to do is get on the internet, go find myself a, a nice, uh, I'm going to check my ink line here, go find myself a nice used printer. A lot of people have these things laying around and they haven't used them. And they're just sitting there. Well, inkjet inks, while they're not the greatest uh, to sit there forever, they are easier to clean. So when you take it all apart, you end up with an extra pump. Those things are 100 bucks online all day. You end up with an extra damper line kit. I flush those out, run water through them, pump them out, clean them. You get you an extra set of ribbon cables. You get you an extra main board, sub power board. Um, I don't need the cartridges because they had inkjet cartridges. Um, you also get yourself another display unit. All of these little pieces add up to a lot of money individually. So get you a printer, disassemble it, and you've got all the parts you need to fix your DTG unit. I bought this printer for about $320 shipped, which is a fraction of the price of even just a print head. So you get yourself a spare print head to put in it. Just put it in some, uh, some cleaner, let it soak, and you can fix your printer uh, when it goes down pretty quick without having to wait on a bunch of parts. So I do scour the internet and keep my eyes open. Find you one on eBay, find you one on Craigslist. Um, you know, a good search tool is search all of Craigslist. You can find printers that way. And you know, I honestly, I find them on eBay and I send people a message and hit them up. And you know, if it's, they're asking 350, I'd see if they'll take 200, you know, throw a low ball out there. I mean, a lot of these people have them. They're just collecting dust. They don't use them. They don't know anything about them. Um, so there is a good chance that they'll accept your offer. I just bought one today, an R2400, so I have some spare parts for the free jet as well. And it cost me about $250 shipped, so a great deal. If you're looking to repair some of these units, that's an excellent source. Go get you some parts for them. You know, the print head for the free jet's $1,200. So pulling a print head out of the R2400 that I paid $250 for is worth giving it a salvage. Nine times out of ten, you can salvage them. So, thanks for checking out this video. Check out some of the other ones. I'm going to do some more uh, content every week and pertains to the DTG, DTF, HTV sector. Um, also, growing your brand. Maybe we'll do some design, design work on the computer. Um, whatever else you might be interested in learning about, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to uh, answer those. And provide you content that helps you grow your business.